The team moves on to the second step. There are several ways to segment suppliers. Each organization can choose what works best for them. Anna joins the workshop. Guys, when it comes to supplier segmentation, companies that have a low-cost business strategy will prefer to build a close relationship with those suppliers that are best placed to contribute to cost reductions. I see. Companies with that type of a business strategy will use their monetary spend by supplier as the criterion to conduct the segmentation. Correct? Indeed, Daniel. In general, the higher the spend on a specific supplier is, the higher the cost reduction impact will be. Typically, the Pareto principle applies. 30% of the entire spend goes to only 2% of the total number of suppliers. That is clear. So, for companies with a low-cost business strategy, this small group represents the strategic suppliers. Is that because this group has the biggest potential to contribute to the business strategy? That's right, Nicole. To further segment the remaining 98% of the suppliers, these cost-focused companies often use a pyramid to visualize their segmentation. I see that you understand the segmentation step. The pyramid is often divided into three segments, the top being the strategic suppliers, followed by the preferred suppliers, which is made up of 20% of the total number of suppliers that make up 50% of the entire spend. So, the bottom part of the pyramid contains the transactional suppliers, which are the remaining 78% of suppliers that make up 20% of the entire spend.